So I personally found a very, very close relationship between the stick fighting and karate and going from weapons to empty hand there. Uh, I, I found a, a lots of similarities there and by studying both I kind of felt like it furthered my understanding of both styles actually. So uh, the karate also worked out really, really well for me. It's not something I, I talk about too much in my videos but that's that's because for me personally I was always interested in the method of cross training. That is the method that I, that I always did. I was never a pure Filipino martial arts guy and I was never a pure karate guy or never just put all my eggs in, in one style. You know, that's, that's just the way I was. And I also, because I moved a lot uh, going from college, you know, or going from city to city in, in Texas throughout my years, you know, I moved a lot, a lot. So because of that, it was difficult for me to just stay in one school and, and to go all the way. So, it, you know, I just adapted to my situation. And, uh, you know, that's, that just happens to be the way it was for me in my own martial arts path. The other thing is, um, yes, in my videos, I recommend a lot of uh, Western boxing to go along with the stick fighting stuff. Um, it's not that I think that it, it's more important than Filipino boxing, like Panantukan and, and those kinds of stuff. My exposure to that was very, very limited. Uh, I, I only got to see a little bit of that through the JKD stuff that I studied. But it's not like there was an instructor that, that taught me that stuff. I was able to learn uh, Filipino martial arts from an instructor and also train with some awesome, awesome people. And through the years, that's how I developed my study of the Filipino martial arts. But Panantukin and that kind of stuff, I, I never really ran across anyone that that was their main focus or they were experts in it. So just because of that, uh, I had to... Uh, search elsewhere for that and what fit for me personally perfect was the western boxing so that's why i put in a lot of western boxing not because i think western boxing is better than than those or i feel like western boxing is is uh more important or you you should study it first or nothing like that it's just a matter of in my path that is what happened and uh so all I could say is the pros and cons of adding Western boxing to your study of the Filipino martial arts. Um, definitely a, a pro would be is that if you're talking about performance, to me there is nothing better than combat sports. So combat sports is like Muay Thai kickboxing, Western boxing, uh, you know, MMA, judo, sports sambo, you know, those kinds of styles. If you're just looking for pure performance, there is nothing better than than those kinds of stuff. You know, if you're looking for philosophy, you're looking to better yourself as a human being, you're looking for other things like that, then I would go elsewhere. I would go into traditional martial arts. They can offer that kind of info for you. Okay, performance is good. The downside of that is because it's all fixated on performance and the other stuff is kind of like uh, put off to the side like injuries you know uh, what are you gonna do when you're older uh, and things like that that's all neglected so uh, those are the cons there for sure uh, especially brain damage you you don't want brain damage or organ damage all kinds of micro damage uh, uh, another positive aspect of studying the Western boxing and adding it to your uh, stick fighting your Filipino martial arts I believe is that with Western boxing it is a solid good way to measure yourself when you go how good am I all right with the sticks you're training with the sticks and stuff it's very very difficult to know how good you are in fact I don't think it's it's really possible okay um, everyone tends to think that they're better than they really are and you you could be going you know I feel like I'm getting smoother in my moves I feel like I'm I'm uh, you know a lot more comfortable with this technique and yeah okay I'm pretty badass you know, that is a terrible, terrible way to gauge yourself, okay? Um, that is not a good way at all. But if you add Western boxing to your training, then you, you all you have to do is measure it to real boxers, and then you know where you're at. It's just plain and simple. So if I look at myself, all right, uh, do I spar right now? No, I don't spar right now. So already, compared to your average boxer, I'm... Phew, okay uh, they have all kinds of bags do I work with all kinds of bags no so you know I'm going lower and lower but it puts me in a realistic place where I go this is where I'm at 
And then, I mean, like the training regimen, you know, a boxer is going to run miles every day. Okay, how many miles do I run a day? So I could, you know, so I'll know where I'm at. You know what I mean? How many uh, crunches and sit-ups do I do? You know, how much jump rope do I do? How much shadow boxing do I do? So I could, I could measure all that and then I'll know where am I compared to, you know, a, a guy who trains in boxing. As far as compete wise, I don't even compete. So you could not compare me to any kind of champion because obviously I don't even compete. I'm not even ranked, you know, so I'm way below that, okay? So I'm just talking about people who train in boxing. I, I'm still very, very low, but at least it puts me in a realistic perspective without, I'm not putting myself down. It may sound like I'm putting myself down, but I'm just, I just want a real, the truth, a real perspective you know, without having to find that out in the street and getting my ass kicked and go, wait a minute, I thought I was pretty good. You know what I mean? So boxing, Western boxing gives you that. It gives you that. Thai boxing will give you that. MMA will give you that where you can kind of know where you're at. Okay. So if you have been doing the training equal to a professional or, or even an amateur competitor, okay, now you know you know where you're at and if you want to go even more detailed and you want to know where exactly then go compete you know so it 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 is available to you the problem with a lot of traditional martial arts is info is great as far as information wise no other styles have as much technique knowledge tradition and information available as a traditional martial art but the problem is we have an eighth degree black belt over here sixth degree black belt fourth degree black belt who's better the person who thinks that the eighth degree black belt is going to beat the sixth degree black belt and the sixth degree black belt is going to beat the fourth degree black belt, this is a very ignorant way of thinking because up after a certain level, it's politics, okay? It's not ability. So you, you can't, that's no way to judge by that. So the only way you got in a traditional martial arts is through demonstration, really, because, you know, and then in demonstration, uh, you know that that's the same as watching a movie so you really have no way to measure so once again that's why I, I do highly recommend uh, doing something like Western boxing and adding that to your stick fighting so anyway that's it for now thank you for watching and take care folks